Okay, good morning. We're on the record in case number D17560600F. Uh, Moss versus Bourne. May I please have appearances beginning with Mr. Richards? Good morning, Your Honor. Randy Richards, bar number 6794 of Kelleher and Kelleher for uh, Joseph Moss, who is present via Blue Jeans. Ms. Ray. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. Thank you. Bar, Julie Ray, bar number 10965, on behalf of Leah Bourne, who is also present via Blue Jeans. Thank you for calling this case first. All right. You're welcome. Let's see what we can do about getting this t t closed out here real fast. I have said here, I've looked at all the pleadings. Uh, you know, it's already been reduced to judgment. Now, if you're looking for the judgment to be renewed so that it doesn't go bad, then fine, I can do that. But as far as, you know, doing something to collect it, I don't have the capability of doing that. This is where you put liens on properties, garnish in income, whatever it takes. But I'm, you know, I'm not going to be able to do anything to force it to be paid. Well, um, Your Honor, I guess I'll address that. Uh, if there is, if you file a foreign judgment in this jurisdiction, and this court assumes jurisdiction on it, and the court even referenced it uh, at the June 15th trial, that, uh, that the court would honor that. And I, absolutely. The court I has the, Sir, I am honoring it. But the problem is, is it's not my job to sit here and go to the bank and get the money. It's reduced to judgment. You just need to take the steps now that you need to take to collect. Fair enough, Your Honor. Uh, if that's how the court wants to handle it, I'm fine with that. We can uh, we can go through a separate uh, proceeding and yeah. collect on that. We have no yeah. problem. Yeah, you know, I mean, you've got the... Uh, Oh, man, has my English jumped out of my head here. The, the debtor's examination and things like that to see if there's any assets in which you can collect. But, you know, Mom, you owe the money. You need to pay it. It's that simple. Your Honor, may I be heard briefly? Well, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I respect your decision. I do just want to know for the record that... Um, the other side has failed to initiate a new case, which NRS 17380 requires, and pay a, an additional filing fee. They failed to do that. Most importantly, um, Mr. Kelleher and their law firm failed to um, get a, an exemplified copy of no, no, the... No, 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 no. There's, there's a certification on every single one of those pages. That is an exemplified copy of what Texas does. Every state so exemplifies the, differently. It has to be a double certified copy, <laughs> one from the actual magistrate who issued the judgment, as well as a, a copy of the clerk. And I understand the court's position. I do just want to note it for the record. Correct. And then finally, um, Mr. Kelleher's office also failed to file uh, a sufficient affidavit. And NRS 17360 requires that a filing of a foreign judgment be accompanied by an affidavit. Uh, Mr. Moss failed to include an affidavit with his filing, and this is also a reason why the judgment should be vacated and dismissed. Well, I'm not going to vacate a judgment, dismiss it, because I'm going to give it full faith and credit that the U.S. Constitution requires me to give an order from a different jurisdiction. If I, if I vacate and dismiss it, that means it goes away completely, and I'm not going to do that. She owes this money because she wrongfully withheld the children and fled to a different jurisdiction. She, he was awarded attorney's fees for such act. I'm not, I'm not going to do anything that's going to jeopardize her not ever having to pay that. She needs to pay that money because she did wrong. But yes, I forgot the affidavit when I was sitting there talking about it. There are probably ways file, of, of, and they didn't file one. Well, it, Your Honor, uh, just in response to that, it, it met all the requirements of NRS 17360. Uh, it had all the requirements that that statute requires. The only thing, even if you construe the facts in the light most favorable to Ms. Bourne, it, it's still at, at worst harmless error. Uh, yeah. And under well, Rule 61, it's, it's just harmless error. The only thing it can even really point to is the fact that it, at one point in the affidavit, it's referred to as a verification. But it has all the, the substance and content of a, of a valid affidavit. Yeah. And so I think well, the court's correct in saying that it's a valid affidavit and that the order should still receive yeah. full faith well, and credit. Well, yeah, 
I mean, it is a valid judgment, and it is one that can be enforced no matter what state you're from. If it requires an order from the state of Nevada stating it is a valid order, I'll be more than happy to sign that. But you take it to you take that to any sheriff's department, and that sheriff's department is going to move to collect, whether it's on a vehicle, bank accounts, earnings, whatever. You know, it's a valid judgment. You have the right to collect. Does the court need an order from today? I don't believe so. I believe the minutes can suffice on this. Your Honor, Your Honor we did. Hold on, Great. Hold on. Ms. Ray needs, has another comment. What is that, ma'am? Uh, it's my understanding Mr. Moss is still a resident of Las Vegas, Nevada. I was inquiring <laughs> if he was still intending to move as, as he insinuated at trial. Yeah, he is, and that's in the works, and that's going to happen here in the next uh, week or two. Okay. Uh, okay, and could, if I could also inquire if my client is getting the, the court-ordered visitation, because I know she wasn't originally. Yeah, if she's not getting well, the visitation that she's supposed to be getting when they're in the same town, then she needs to be getting that visitation. Well, what, is she even in town, Your Honor? The, the order was very specific that the visitation needs to be in Las Vegas. My client's willing to make the client available, but it's my, upon information and belief, Miss Bourne's no longer living in Las Vegas. She's quit her job and gone back to Dyer, which is what we predicted all along in this case. If Mom is in Las Vegas, her visitation's going to take place here in Las Vegas. Mom, are you living in Las Vegas? I am. Okay. Dad, if you, if you can she, provide she me with proof that she is not living here, as long as she's exercising her, if she's exercising her visits here in Las Vegas, she gets her visits. She doesn't exercise them. She doesn't have a bed still. She lies about where she's staying with them. She's missed five weekends already. Um, she's just not available. I've been oh, just, available. Just last, just last Sunday, just just last Sunday, she came and picked them up and dropped them off at her roommate's house, and she went to a friend's house for several hours. Um, the weekend before that, uh, when she had them, she told me that she was staying at her residence here in Las Vegas, and then she asked our seven-year-old to lie for her that she actually stayed at a family friend's house. Um, and weeks before that, she didn't show up because she didn't have a picture. Mom, what is your address? 2406 Inlet Beach Court, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89031. And is it that is that your home? That is my friend's home that I've been running a room from. I thought you got married. Remember, this case, this case had the roommate vision, Your Honor. Yeah, I know. She is married. She told me several times as well as the court that her and her husband were going to get a place in July said it was going to be in August. Uh, come to find out, she actually quit her job and she lives with her husband in Dyer, Nevada. She only comes to town uh, once or twice a month to see Ethan, but usually not for overnight because she doesn't have a residence or a bed for him. All right. Well, you know, the, the, the visitation needs to be here in Las Vegas right now. Once you move to what, Virginia is where you're moving to? Yes. Okay. Once you're moved to Virginia, then, you know, then if she wants to be living in Dyer, she can be living in Dyer with her husband. But right now, the visitation will take place here in here in Las Vegas. Or did we say so the I visitation was I supposed just, to be in Virginia? She's still not showing for her court-ordered visitation. Yeah. Mom, I had a, I had you need to show for your court-ordered visitation. You need to be spending it with your child, not leaving your child with others while you go visit with friends. I do not leave my child with others. I'm just, this is just, I'm just saying that if this, is, if this is what you are doing, don't do that. Okay? Well, I'm not. Right. My time with my right. son is precious considering he's moving. So right. what he is saying All is blatant right. lies, but this is typical of him. Well, you know, I'm I just, you know, right now, just take advantage of whatever visitation that you can get because it's, you know, it's, it's going to get harder once he relocates to Virginia. So enjoy, oh, enjoy, man. enjoy the contact while you've got good contact. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. I had a question on it. We had a counter motion, Your Honor, for attorney's fees. I think it's appropriate here. There was no 5.501 efforts made. And uh, so I'd, I'd uh, renew that request for fees on this matter. 
I'm denying the, the, the deal for fees because you're the one who originally brought... Hold on. Mom's motion. Okay, no. Mom's the one who brought the, the foreign judgment. Uh, I'm going to deny that because she did have... You know, she, she brought this for a good reason. So I'm, I'm going to deny the attorney's fees. Um, Thank you. Uh, that's fine, Your Honor. I, uh, just as far as what the good reason would be in this situation, I think she, my concern is... She had a good faith it, reason to be bringing it because actually looking through everything, your affidavit wasn't quite proper, you know, and and it I could see where the exemplified copy was not necessary. You know, it would be easily to not see it. So I, I, you know, I am denying the request for attorney's fees. Well, I, I appreciate that, Your Honor, and I don't mean to be argumentative. I guess my concern was that I would have appreciated some 5.501 efforts. Correct, there and were I agree. I here. agree. You know, Ms. So, Ray? And so, Your, Honor, Your Honor, I would have appreciated some judgment in discovery. They never even disclose this judgment, and in that trial, they try and offset her travel expenses and say, oh, she owes this money. They should have never done that in the first place. Well, they could have turned to the Mom, over hold on. Had Mom knew she has a judgment. She knew it. It's not like she, this is something that she had no idea was there. This, this was something that everybody knew that was involved in this case when she wrongfully took over the child. So, no, you're lucky I'm denying their request for attorney's fees. This is not a tit for tat. You're both putting me in a bad mood right now. I don't want to do that, Judge. Thank you. You have the whole cal you have a whole calendar to get through. Yes, ma'am, I do, and only a half a bottle of Mountain Dew left. All right. <laughs> All right. Now we will need an order from today. So, uh, Mr. Prepare. Richards, I'm going to let you prepare. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'll send it over to counsel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.